Reno is a 22-year-old Quaker parrot. Some other names for this species are the monk parakeet or Quaker parakeet. You've probably heard the word parakeet before, but did you realize that there's 115 species of small parrot that are classified as parakeets? Quaker parakeets are popular pets, but are legal to keep in some states due to their highly tenacious nature and their ability to form feral colonies. They're native to Argentina, Brazil, Paraguay, and Bolivia, but have become established in pockets all around the world, even in the United States. Quaker parrots are historically a pretty inexpensive parrot, which is actually a bit unfortunate because they can be a more difficult species to keep. Many Quakers are cage aggressive, which means that they're very protective of their space. Unfortunately, this can be pretty off-putting for new pet owners who might have bought one of these parrots on a whim. A lot of research needs to be done anytime you're looking for a new pet. They should not be an impulse purchase. For this reason, a lot of Quaker parrots end up needing rescued or rehomed. They can also be quite loud. They have a very piercing call and they use it frequently in play or when they're making a demand. Some tips that I give to new Quaker parrot owners are to spend as much time with your bird outside of its cage as possible. This can help stave off cage aggression and overpossessiveness of their space. A lot of birds just want to be near you. They don't necessarily need constant interaction, but rather just want to feel like they're part of your flock. That's why it's important to know the social behaviors of your parrot in the wild and how it would be interacting with members of its own species. Birds like Quakers can live in large social groups with hundreds of birds. That's why their individual space is so important to them. Other species may live in small family groups. Once again, it is so important to do research on any species and the individual animal that you're interested in. There are so many unwanted and misunderstood birds. I always recommend rescuing an adult mature bird if possible. The personalities tend to be more stable and predictable as opposed to a new baby, and you can save a life.